Hey guys, um, so common question that I get is how should I store my injectors? So talking 12 valve injectors or a VP44, um, I'm going to show you how, you how I store them um, or how I recommend storing them and uh, we can go from there. So let me just get this busy day today at the shop here, testing injectors and building some inject bunch of injectors. but. So what I recommend doing, um, if you have injectors, so if you have injectors that you don't care about per se, um, then what you can do um, there again, what I do is I grab jars, you know, like jars that you would use. I think this one had salad dressing in it maybe. Um, and what I do is I use, use testing oil and I just filter it. Um, but that's what I store injectors and in. I have a whole bunch of these sitting at the house um, with injectors because that way whatever's in there can't solidify. Um, but what I always do, so if I have injectors that, if I have injectors that I want to keep, um, you know, if good injectors that you pull out that potentially are a good injector, um, what I recommend doing, so if you have a pot pressure tester, um, you can put the injectors in there pop pressure you know pop them a few times make sure you get the diesel out of them because you should be using testing fluid not diesel fuel um, in the tester because testing oil has a lot longer shelf life um i know lots of guys use all kinds of different stuff i personally i use testing oil because i have testing oil um so personally i don't i use testing oil now another option too another option is what you can do with them is take them apart and for you guys that have never had one apart this is what they look like inside this is what they look like inside so it'll be shim maybe more than one shim this only has one your spring your any media disc and your nozzle so what, what i would recommend doing like i said if they're good injectors you Torque the nozzle at 28 foot pounds. So if you take it off, so you need to torque it again. What I do is brake clean everything out. This injector I've already had, had a part and, and I've cleaned. But um, what I do is just put it all back together. Um, take WD or WD-40. Take uh, well, you could use WD-40 actually. Um, what I if for the average guy, what I recommend is ATF fluid. Um, it's easy to get and just put it back together. And what I always do is just. Um, put her back together and just a couple drops of ATF fluid around everything just so that it's full of ATF fluid and then go ahead and torque your nozzle you can just put it in a vise here torque it 28 foot pounds and then take them preferably in a glass jar more than a plastic one because the plastic one tend to seep so this is actually a set of injectors uh, of, of mine um, these are 525s that I have which I actually probably will sell um, but we'll see. I'm not sure exactly for combination what I'm doing. So what I do now is take, there again, I use testing oil, but you can use, a, I would recommend using just cheap as ATF fluid you can buy. So whatever you're using for, for ATF fluid, just do that. And this is filtered. This is just a bypass filter that I have on my testing machine but basically all we're gonna do and this is actually how I um, lots of time this is it, how I extend the life of all the filters and stuff but is I fill this up with testing fluid which in this case because there's only it's a relatively big jar for how many injectors are in there get a jar a smaller jar obviously you don't have to put as much con you don't have to put as much oil in it right um, but I can reuse the oil later. But I recommend um, if submerging them in ATF fluid. You could use engine oil, I suppose, too. It's just something that doesn't have a shelf life as short as a fuel. Um, but if you take them apart and clean the fuel out of them and, and then put a little bit of ATF fluid on stuff, um, it'll keep everything from sticking. So then when you go to reuse them, let's say a year down the road, five years down the road, ten years down the road, you don't have injectors that are junk because we do actually see that quite a bit. Guys pull them out of their trucks, they sit them on the shelf um, and they're not stored properly and then they're garbage. So 
just like I just thought I'd recommend, like I just thought I'd mention to you guys, this is how I do it. So a jar, ATF fluid for the average guy. Um, make sure you clean the injectors out though. Um, no fuel in them. So break, even if you just brake clean them completely, a couple drops of oil on everything, and then fill the jar up with ATF fluid, um, then you never need to worry about um, the injector locking up from sitting, water in it, any of that type of stuff. So, but like I said, you do need to take them apart or hit them with the pop pressure tester with oil in it. I guess you could put ATF fluid in your pop pressure tester um, to flush them out, but I recommend actually pull the injectors apart and uh, do it that way. I prefer, I prefer it that way um, because then you know for sure that nothing is inside them. So not a real long video today, guys, um, but just thought I would, uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that's how I recommend doing it. Um, it's a really simple process. You don't have to worry about the injectors locking up that way, especially, you know, if you got a set of, you know, these ones are, these ones are five by 25s. Um, so, you know, you potentially, you're, I don't know, $850 US, um, something along that line for a set of these injectors. So like these ones have actually got a bunch of work done to them, but, um, you know, just uh, a cheap way, you know, a glass jar, if you guys are using any, like, uh, you know, any glass jar, used glass jar works just fine. Um, fill it with ATF fluid, like I said, make sure you flush the injector out and, uh, yeah, you're good to go. You put it in there and you never have to worry about the injector going bad. So like I said, cheap way to store them. That's how I recommend it. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, um, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks guys.